What's up guys, in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to make a gorilla attack fan game from start to finish. So the first thing you need to do is to um, go to, if you already have Unity installed, uh, you just skip to this time section. But if you don't have Unity installed, just search Unity download. then st start then yeah then click download for windows then you're gonna get a like exe and just open it then you're gonna like get your window here click new project then call it what you want gorilla tag fan game yeah then you open it I, I forgot to say this click on like install editor then install your editor then you're gonna like it's gonna ask you like uh, Android thing I can show you guys wait if I click there these check that before you like make your unit the project okay now my unity po project is open so you have your like unity project here you click edit then project settings then you're gonna get this like xr plugin management click on install xr plugin management if it's like if you can't see this it's just click here and you're gonna see it so I'm gonna cut cut to when it's done. Yeah, now it's done. So uh, you have this. If you want to like play it on PC, you click Open XR. But I'm gonna make it so you only can like play play it on your Oculus. So click on Oculus, and then we're gonna click on the Android thing also up here there then we're clicking oculus there then now we're going to this then change single pass to multi pass and then do the same thing here y ignore this this is like for making games on the like web then on your android thing click enable low overhead mode now you're done with that then click window package manager then you have this then you then click the plus then add package from git url type com com dot unity dot xr dot in the dot tool okay. I'm gonna put like this in the description so you can just copy and paste so click add then it's gonna like start doing this it's gonna start installing the package I'm gonna cut until it's installed then you're gonna like get this warning click just yes then you're just gonna wait then click I made a backup go ahead even if you didn't make a backup then you're gonna your like unity project is gonna open again yeah when your like unity has opened again you're gonna see this click on this drop down or wait Click on here to your XR interaction toolkit. Then click on the drop down menu. Then click start the assets. Then when it's done, just you can click off that. You just, if you see like these Among Us things or you're gonna see them, click here up here 
it's gonna be like something and just click add on every single one of these so when you're done with that you you can now i will put a link in the description for a unity package just download it and then just open open it and it's automatically gonna like import into your game so you're gonna have like your gorilla local motion it's gonna be called then you're gonna get this window so just click import then click reload then you're gonna get this resources open that then gorilla prefabs and then you're gonna get gorilla rig so drag that into your game delete this camera it's gonna mess up your game so we're done with like if you want to test the game just yeah just connect your vr to your pc and just click on the play button up here then when you're done with that we we want to like have a photon or we want to make it multiplayer so the first thing we need to do is in our google wait uh we're searching photon photon pun then click on this one the second link yeah then you're gonna get to this like it's it looks sketchy for some reason but it's it's the real like thing just click add to my assets then just log into your to your account Wait, i'm just cracking my knuckles then when you're done with that click open with unity you're gonna get a like pop-up on here if you haven't like accepted it but uh then you're just gonna click for you just click import but i'm just gonna update real fast so it's we are like on the same step there then you're gonna like click import then just click all or if you want to just click import again then you're gonna like get this when it's done then you're gonna get this like pop-up window then just search here photon you're gonna get this just click on this on the first link photon then you need to sign in so do that I'm just gonna sign in there then you're gonna get this like dashboard it's gonna say dashboard here so uh, then you click create a, a new app then you're just gonna type what your game is called then just so here it says real time change that to pun then click create then it's gonna load i'm just gonna like this is just loading for me i don't know why but it's gonna like be done then you're gonna get to this like thing i'm just gonna use this one so you're gonna see a piece tag it's called for me but it then you're gonna see this app id click on the like numbers here then do control c on your keyboard then go back to your unity and just paste that in there then just click set up project then click close then you're gonna go here then you're gonna just click on photon engine that crashed it so uh unity voice no voice 
voice photon then you're gonna get this then just click do the same thing here click open with unity I'm just gonna update then click import then you're gonna get this here it's gonna be like import package when it's done I think it's done yeah it's done now so you just can X out of there then you just when you're done with that go to your photon again then you're gonna like create click create new app then click voice and then just name it what you want i'm just gonna do that and just it's gonna load for me here also so it's just yeah then uh then just take it then you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna it's yellow so do the same thing app id copy that just have it copied then uh, just do search photon photon vr and you're gonna see a github link click on that then uh, where it says four tags click on that and then just this f click on the like f the newest version of it's maybe it's gonna say five six seven or for you then you're just gonna click photon vr then just double click on that and it's gonna automatically be in your unity project then click import now you almost are done so with like the multiplayer so open resources photon vr prefabs then just drag the blue things in there then you're gonna see photon vr manager where here where it says head put it as main camera then left hand left hand controller and right hand right hand controller when you're done with that you just select your region i'm just gonna i live in the eu so i'm just gonna have it in eu if you live in the us just put us or where you even live so uh then you can choose how many players you have in your lobby the maximum is 20 but i'm just gonna have it on 10 so we're having app id and voice I id we already had uh, the voice id copied so just do control c then just go back to your photon you're gonna have it here just copy your ep tag or if you're if you don't want to do that just click windows v on your keyboard and you're just gonna find it and you're like there then you just click ctrl v then you're then you're done with the multiplayer so now we want a like model so like go into steam or where you can download blender like on steam microsoft store um like directly from your uh, like web browser but there's many places to download steam or not steam download blender so you're gonna get a cube that's the first thing just delete the light and the main camera or it's gonna like break you break your game when it imports into unity so click here use the go into edit mode up here then click on this then when you're done with that just here click there then click here then just 
drag this a little bit in it's gonna look like this then use this loop cut then just put, put it in the middle then just uh, there and then then just select every face and then you're gonna have this so click here then click add modifier then mirror it's gonna maybe look like this but change it so it looks like before so here for me to why for you maybe something else so when you're done with that click add modifier then subdivision surface and it's gonna look a little bit better then change this to tr free then just you're gonna have this then just i'm gonna just have it like this this is like it's a little bit thick so just fix that like that so now you have your little model this is your head so you can just drag this up so you have your head here if you like just click ctrl a on the like modifier or the subdivision modifier then uh, then we need to create your body so mesh cube then add modifier subdivision surface free then we're just gonna do this cut then we're just gonna delete this part and then add a mirror modifier again then we we can like do this now it's looking a, a bit better then you just add a then you just click add cube then you're gonna get this then just click make this is your arms so uh so just do th this then just control c control control c control v oh wait give me a sec i'm just gonna then click add mesh again then just resize is it how mm, it was before then you're gonna get something like this I'm then uh, you can make hands there's tutorials out there how to make hands but I'm gonna just use a sphere as hands because that's easier so uh, just make a hand like this so you have your model here if you want to like texture it like pixel by pixel you click Control A on the mirror, so now you have your full body. Then you click here and then just do Control A on your subdivision. Then you have this, so select like this. I'm gonna me or I'm gonna put some like textures if you guys want to like you can find textures like online but i if you can't find any textures online I'm, I'm just gonna put some in the description it's gonna look like this when you're done so uh, this is your model right now then if you want a head texture that you probably i think you probably want so you're gonna like remove the the mirror modifier or not right now do Control z if you already removed it so just do this drag it so then you're gonna get this then just do 
on your modifier click control a and it, you're gonna get something like this then when you want textures so i'm gonna put in the comments uh, some textures for your like model it's hard to speak i haven't like t taken a breath in like a long time then i have the like capuchin fur so just there then we have uh, i al also have uh, then just do this open then you're i'm gonna send the other texture then do the same thing for the head you can like find any texture on the head so the yellow thing here then image open then just when you're then just search then just get your texture it's gonna be named something else then your face texture i'm just gonna use um uh, i have a texture here like this is gonna become my face texture it looks weird i know just click uv editing here and just do this so you can find these then your model is gonna look something like your colors is gonna come back then you're gonna find your texture so just do this When you're done with like selecting everything, use your mouse, hover over like everything here and you're gonna see this. Just, you can just scale this so you can make it how big you want it to be. So uh, just do this so I got the texture here so just there it's gonna look something like this so uh, now we're done with like doing that so join these two parts so you join just select both of them then just uh, right click on the model and you're gonna see join then click add up here armature then you're gonna see this little thing then viewport display then click in front then you're gonna see this then you're gonna get like this bone make it so it's like this then just click e on your keyboard then just click anywhere and then just or wait give me a second then you're gonna just get a, another bone so we have this then use your like hold control if you want it more like to be better or what you want to say so we're done with that then wait i accidentally clicked on then click there then there there then when you're done with modeling just click there up there then click this one then just drag this back then click p no control p on your keyboard wait then you need to click on that control Wait a second. There. Click Alt P. Then disconnect bone. Hold Control. And just get it to there. This is your like IK pulse. So. Then just Alt P again. Then Control. So. Now you're done with like making your model. So. You just click Object. 
then select both of these up here then click control p then you're gonna see with automatic weights click that then we can just test if the model works so click here and then pose mode i said pose mode there now we can test okay it works now it works so we can test the head yeah it works now now we click file export fpx then we just name it monkey or what you want to call it then click just make a new folder here then let's ca call it models then open that folder and then click import new asset and you're gonna see monkey.fpx then just drag that into your game it's gonna look like this just the textures we imported just make a new new folder that's called text Then your textures folder just import every like texture we had so i had mid blink so import mid blink then we have capuchin fur it's called for me oh wait give me a second there i'm gonna find capuchin white fur dot png if it wants to select oh my god uh anyways you're gonna just search cap i'm just gonna search capuchin i don't know why i don't like then you it's gonna be a png then just import that you're gonna you're then i'm gonna just import the last one Uh, and now all your textures are here you can delete uh, this one if you want but then on your like gorilla rig open it then you see these two spheres just disable them and you're good to go so uh, when you're done with that open resources photon vr player then you're gonna get this click import essentials then click import essentials again or extras then when you're done with that you just can click off it then turn off gizmos it's gonna make it really annoying then import the model again it's gonna be huge so just make it smaller and just hold control when you rotate so it like it's perfect so when you're done with that just resize it to how big it should be so mine should like be this size so if you want it not to be like shiny just open your uh, um, textures or you can click on these or just drag these all on and then just do control Z and you're gonna get the uh, materials for folder here and then just drag every texture where it should be nothing is gonna change but now you can select all of these and just turn off the smoothness and it's gonna look a lot better if you want it pixelated just here's where it says by linear changes the no point filter and then just do it for all the other textures so it's gonna make it a little bit pixely so then you're gonna see vr head vr body vr hand just uh delete all of these then you're gonna get then uh, in the description i'm gonna like have a file with everything you need so uh 
so you're gonna like get a a script that's called fast ik fabric i'm just gonna cut to me getting the script so okay now i have the script it's just gonna import you're just gonna have this i'm just gonna like make a send everything in the like in a zip in a like zip folder and just drag it into your game or wherever you want to put it then you have your monkey here just drag it on head then just open armature bone then open all of the bones until then just click on a random bone okay this is this bone so open it again okay this is this bone so this is the right hand so click fa uh, drag the script on here then you're gonna see target drag right hand then your pole it's gonna be your like the bone that was before it so this is my bone that was before it but if you want it to be a, lot, a little bit better just drag this bone I'm just gonna drag that bone so when now you're done with the left the right hand so now open your uh, left hand so this is my left hand drag the script on there then target left hand then pole bone 11 for me so now you're done with this you can just put this text where you want i'm just gonna put it like uh there so uh you have this just uh if you're gonna put it on the monkey just drag it on the monkey and then it's just gonna follow the monkey like like capuchin or something like that uh now you're done with that so you can just click out of here just click scene or not scene click on this one or what then we're gonna start with the map so here's my gorilla i'm just gonna put a little cube to show that the like model works it doesn't look like the model is here because it's connected to like the thing we're using it's gonna get this just click ok then it's gonna open then you're gonna like see your model here then if you want to like test it open gorilla player then you're gonna get these bones so it's gonna like be, be like weird what do you want to say so now you have your like gorilla or what do you want to say so if you want to make a good map i can show you so delete the cube then click window package manager then packages unity registry or what it's uh, it says there then 3d world bi building then you're gonna see pro builder okay now it's done so just x out of this then it's gonna say tools up here click on tools pro builder pro builder window you're gonna get this just drag it where you want it to be then click new shape then click plane then just change this to free and just or not free give me a second like this to free and you're gonna get something like this so you're gonna like here select the corner just do that 
and just do that to every corners um now I dragged it down but do that to every corner so you're gonna get something like this so uh, click on like use this tool and then just select every part there then do control E on your keyboard drag it up then just do control E again. You're gonna get like this. Dra make this bigger so it looks like this. Then just do control E and just make it like this. Then just do this and then just control E. Make it bigger. Now you're gonna get something like this. So your your monkey is gonna be here it should be there so we have our monkey so now we're gonna put some textures on it it's those textures are also gonna be in that folder so i'm just gonna import the textures really fast so uh Wait, I accidentally ported the wrong thing. Uh, there. Now we have both of our textures. Just drag these on the map and then just do control C and then do the same thing on the other. Then uh, here, click material editor. Then you're gonna get this folder or here, materials. Drag these here both of these then just do like smoothness turn down the smoothness on them then we can like make this map a little bit like rough or what you want to say so uh, there 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 now we have something like this so just I'm just gonna make some like touches here so now we have a little map here then down here select all faces so select all of these then click material editor then click on the grass one then click alt then click like alt plus free but the button there or X click on the grass one you're gonna get something like this so you have grass if you don't like how it turned out like me just do this and now it's gonna look a much better if it's like blurry like I showed before just click on your texture and just do a linear no point filter Then uh, up here, you just select everything here. So, and then just apply the, the grass texture. Then up here, select everything here. Uh, then just do that now we have everything there so we just select all the walls so I have all walls selected then click free on then click on the wall texture or the dirt texture then just now we have a map a rough map here now we're done with the map so i think this is like everything or i mean i'm gonna put in the description uh keyboard or this is also gonna be in my discord server 
just click custom package then click then search then just import my I simply typed it wrong then we're you're gonna have name keyboard like me then just import it if it if you like you get some error like me just delete the exit you're gonna this execute button name then uh, just delete that then your errors are gonna disappear like magic now you're now you're gonna get a folder that's called keyboard then just you're gonna get name key it's gonna be called then you're gonna get this just drag the textures on it i'm just gonna have these textures so now we have the keyboard so we can just put it where we want it to be so now we have this keyboard here so it's just gonna be here so if you want like the buttons to be a little bit thicker just open it then keys and just do that there then just click play and you're gonna get a, a game with a player model then just drag this to the drag your model to the computer then just use your right hand what hand you want to use then i want to my name is or oh, i forgot the one thing before on your left hand and right hand controller add a sphere collider so sphere collider then the radius should be 0 0.06 and then just put its trigger on both of them then tag click add tag and then spell it exactly as i spell it hand tag then click save then just click hand tag you're gonna get this then you just click add layer then left hand and then right hand i just realized a thing we need to do before i forgot the one i forgot what i think we need to do so uh go to if it doesn't doesn't work if you have already tried to test it click on like your projects oh this is the wrong one um your uh, project settings then just do you see this like preset manager here where it says uh right just do right and then just do left there now you're done with that and then you just can click x and now our hands should be working so just click play and your keyboard is gonna work so uh, just drag your little player model here and then just n and now my name is n n so that's it for this tutorial so and if you guys want to learn something else that i you want to do just comment it and bye